Do you feel like your life is simply drifting by? In today's video, I want to explore how our lives can at times seem to be drifting. And I want to help us understand the different approaches that we could take to life. Drifting is certainly one, but there are other ways that we can come to our lives um, and seek to move forward and interact with the circumstances of our lives. So let's start with what it means to be somebody who is drifting in life. Uh, this video has been inspired by Napoleon Hill um, and his book, Outwitting the Devil. And in that book, he's pretty much considering the devil to be the part of you that doesn't want you to succeed in your life and progress and achieve all that is important for you. Okay. And he describes in this book, a drifter. He says the following, a drifter is one who permits himself to be influenced and controlled by circumstances outside of his own mind. A drifter is one who accepts whatever life throws in his way without making a protest or putting up a fight. He doesn't know what he wants from life and spends all of his time getting just that. So I think a lot of us can relate to this idea, um, whether we've had phases of drifting in our lives where we don't put up a fight, um, where we feel influenced and controlled by circumstances outside of ourselves. Um, or we may feel that a lot of our life has been like that. You know, maybe we struggle to think back to a time when we really felt that we were in charge and we were um, moving our lives forward um, ourselves and not drifting. But I want to encourage you just to, to look at your life and to contemplate and think, am I drifting in life? Um, and if so, there's no shame, nothing to like criticize yourself about, but instead we have an opportunity to reflect and think how else we might want to live our lives. So let's reflect on our alternatives. If we think about drifting, often the idea that comes to our minds is about drifting on the ocean, maybe on a piece of wood, lying on our backs. Um, it brings to my mind the idea of being lost at sea. You know, maybe there's been a shipwreck and um, you're lying on a big bit of broken wood from the, from the ship. Um, you can't see anything around or anywhere to go to. You don't know where to go. And the waves of the ocean simply buffet you and move you along in whatever direction they are going in. You are aimless, you are lost, you have no destination. Um, and there is limited hope for survival or for, or for progress. Um, you're waiting for life to happen rather than letting it happen. And this can obviously have an analogy to our lives. Um, but I think most of us would say we don't want to be part of a shipwreck. Um, and we don't want to live an aimless life. So instead of drifting through this ocean of our lives, um, we can do other things. Um, so we'll simply explore two other ways to explore our lives, keeping with this analogy of the ocean. Um, we can sail across the ocean. We can get into um, a boat. We can pull up the sail and we can set sail to where we choose to go. We can develop skill that um, allows us to harness the power of the wind um, and and, and use that skill and dexterity to let, to in effect, manipulate the wind to take us to where we choose to go. Um, and we work with it and we allow the destination to come. Alternatively, that we can surf as well with the ocean. Um, obviously, this is a process of um, flowing. You know, you go out into the ocean, the waves are large and big, in some ways scary and terrifying, but you learn to go with the flow of the ocean. You learn how to ride the wave. You have that exhilaration of, um, you know, catching the wave and then letting it take you forward. Um, and then you move and you adapt with the waves as you move back and through and onto the shore. So I offer both of these ideas of working with the ocean um, just to encourage us to think how our lives could be. So I simply invite you to reflect on these ideas that we've shared today um, and make a, a choice. What would you like instead? You may be drifting through your life or in an area of your life. You can choose to set sail in that area. You can choose to set sail in your life. Or you may instead choose to surf in that area, to ride the wave, to uh, learn to 
enjoy the exhilaration um, of moving with that flow of life in that area. Well, you may choose a combination of the two. You may choose to sail it sometimes, um, have a clear goal, a clear destination, use the wind to, to move in that direction. And then simply adapt and go with the flow and allow the waves to, to take you to a new place and um, explore through um, moving with the flow of life in that area as well. So have some consideration, play with this idea, think about it in your day to day, but rise beyond the drifting of life that takes you nowhere and that doesn't bring the joy and the excitement that I, I guess I believe we all want. So I leave you with that. I hope you've enjoyed the video today. Um, please subscribe to find out more about what I've got to say about, about life, about finding freedom, about moving beyond where we are in our lives. I hope you've had a great day. I hope the rest of your day is fantastic. Um, and I'll definitely speak to you soon.